Hello guys, so I hope you have watched the previous four videos in which I have discussed about the in video number one we discussed about the triple face CECT abdomen in video number two we discussed the normal CECT abdomen anatomy in video number three we discussed about the imaging features of hemangioma now guys we have another video number four video number four so guys what are we seeing in this video number four so here there is an arterial face uh, cct abdomen arterial face scan how do we say it is an arterial face scan because if we look at the abdominal aorta it is appearing bright as compared to the ivc as compared to the ivc <clears throat> and in this portal venous face also you can see that this iota it is not appearing as bright as it was appearing in the arterial face so guys in this face we are seeing that there is a lesion which shows arterial face hyper enhancement there is the lesion which shows arterial face hyper enhancement and if we look at the portal venous face if we look at the portal venous face in this face, we can see that this lesion is showing washout. This lesion is showing washout in the portal venous face. So many people are confused. What do we understand by the term washout? So guys, normally people think that if we take the HU of this lesion and take the HU of this lesion in the portal venous face, if the HU decreases, if the attenuation decreases, then we are going to call it as portal venous phase. No, it is not so we are going to compare the <coughs> compare the attenuation of this lesion as compared to the rest of the liver parenchyma if this lesion is appearing hyper enhancing as compared to the rest of the liver parenchyma only then we are going to call it as a washout only then we are going to call it as portal venous phase washout so a lesion which shows arterial phase hyper enhancement as we can see here and the lesion is showing portal venous phase washout so guys this is a case of this is a case of hepatocellular carcinoma hepatocellular carcinoma moving on to another image moving on to another image so in this image we can see that this is an iso enhancing lesion iso enhancing lesion and this lesion is showing non enhancing scar within this lesion is showing non-enhancing scar within non-enhancing scar within so basically it is your central scar sign that is being shown by this lesion so guys this is a case of focal nodular hyperplasia focal nodular hyperplasia showing the central scar sign so guys we should be aware what are the other lesions which are going to show this central scar sign the other lesions are focal nodular hyperplasia then you have fibrolamellar variant of HCC, fibrolamellar variant of HCC. The third we have your renal oncocytoma, renal oncocytoma. The fourth lesion showing the central scar appearance, it is the serous cyst adenoma of pancreas. Serous cyst adenoma of pancreas. Right? Now guys, moving on to the next image. Here in this image, here in this image, we can see that the surface of the liver is irregular nodular in outline, irregular nodular in outline. <coughs> and if we can see, if we can see that the ratio, ratio of the caudate lobe of the liver to the right lobe, this is your caudate lobe. Okay. This is your caudate lobe. The ratio of the caudate lobe of the liver to the right lobe of liver, it is more than 0 0.6. So a patient in which you are seeing, in which you are seeing irregular nodular outline of the liver, irregular nodular outline of the liver and you are seeing, and you are seeing hypertrophy of the caudate lobe in which the ratio of the caudate lobe to the right lobe of liver is more than 0 0.6. Then guys, you are going to think of a chronic liver disease, chronic liver disease, right? And the last image that I'm going to show you is foci of air, foci of air within the liver, foci of air within the liver. If you are seeing foci of air within the liver, then you are going to suspect two pathologies. One is portal venous gas. One is portal venous gas. 
and the second is and the second is your pneumobilia pneumobilia portal venous gas and pneumobilia you are going to suspect these two pathologies so just remember that in portal venous gas okay your portal vein blood flows from the central part of the liver to the periphery of the liver from the central part of the liver to the periphery of the liver that is why in a case with portal venous gas you are going to find air in the periphery of the liver you are going to find air in the periphery of the liver whereas whereas if we talk about pneumobilia okay air within the biliary radicals so air within the biliary radicals biliary radicals are going to drain from the periphery of the liver to the central part of the liver that is why in a case with pneumobilia you are going to see air in the central part of the liver you are going to see air in the central part of the liver right so guys we have a, a, a neat pg mock test okay all india mock test for neat pg aspirants is coming up tomorrow at 9 9 am okay may 1 9 am so i would definitely ask you guys that you attempt this test and you can use my code that will help you to unlock this test unlock this test right so this test will help you predict your all india rank it will help you what are your weak points what are your weak points okay in which subjects you are not performing well in which uh, sub topics you are not performing well and i would ask you guys that you work on those weak subjects and your weak topics in the last 20 days of your preparation and guys that will definitely that will definitely improve your rank in the in the main exam so till then guys bye bye take care and keep working hard